hello my lovelies and welcome to my facebook live if you are watching me from facebook if you are watching me live or after thank you for watching and if you are watching me on youtube thank you for watching please if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please make sure you subscribe so you stay updated on new videos that i'll be posting i'm going to try my best to be making sure i make more than you know if i have the chance to make video every day or three or four videos per week then i'm going to fight her to do it this second half of the year so today i want to talk about domestic violence and i'm going to use um, the actress chacha ikifani as a case study so we know some months back i made a video about her on my channel i can't remember when but i'll try to pinch it up here for you guys to, uh, to watch when she came out talking about how she's tired and want to move on you know from a marriage talking about abuse and all sort of things then later the video was deleted and then they make another update where she was you know at the hospital lying there in the hospital bed talking about how she's suffering from bipolar uh, disease so everybody was like okay that is cool at least she's not suffering from a marriage she's just going through some mental you know stress that she, we all pray and hope that she gets better because when you think of nollywood for me I love Chacha. I know there are other good actresses out there in the Nollywood community, if I may say. But, you know, her acting, she can play every role. Being it the sad, being it the gangster, being it the lover. She's very good. She's talented. You know a talent when you see one. So there was, you know, there was this time where she was shrinking. Her body was going too down. She was looking on Kept talking about weight loss, talking about her. Uh, you know eating good doing exercise and all sort of things but sometimes there is this manipulation when you're married to a narcissist or an abusive man they make women feel as if it's okay to act certain way it's okay to behave certain way they will even manipulate your mind to the extent that you start making excuses for them chacha ak was online talking about her husband is the best husband it is not her husband's fault that she's losing weight you know it is her own fault talking about us that like food saying that people eat too much like you eat everything you eat something like minimize how you eat go for exercise work on your weight not knowing that she was suffering then she was making as if everything is fine and she's on a weight loss journey. So she made a post today talking about this, you know, SOS. There is this SOS emoji at the top of the picture. And then she said, P.S. The picture, you know, that she uploaded when she made this caption was an old picture of her and her husband sitting in black. The picture is kind of cute, though. You can see the picture on my YouTube th thumbnail. If you're watching me from Facebook, I'm going to upload the picture also on my Facebook page so you guys can see the picture I'm talking about. So she made this post talking about SOS saying it is better to come out alive than come out cops and add this little coughing emoji to a video, uh, to the post. So now it has been all over the blogs. Everybody's talking about it. You know, I see our fellow colleagues encourage her in the comment section, sending her love and light, love emoji, telling her to be strong. So make sure she focus, you know, she focus on herself, make sure she is doing fine and her kids are okay. It is sometimes I understand the society where we're living. We are in Africa, no matter how we try so hard to look posh online, but be behind the walls of social media, everyone has that African mindset, you know, stuck in them. No matter how people travel, an African will always be an African. We have this mindset of, oh, this woman left her husband, oh, failed marriage. People don't care. Even if you are dying in that marriage, they want you to continue to stay there. Because in their mind, you are some kind of a superhuman with no emotions, with no feelings. Even if someone is abusing you, a man is treating you badly, you should continue to stay in that relationship because according to them, that is what you are supposed to do. As a woman, you should be submissive, you should be do, do, doing this and doing that. Not knowing that mentally, psychologically, this relationship is draining you it's like it's shrinking you like i don't know when you have that um a sweet mother candy we call it in my country in france here then call it um bab the papa like when you squeeze it it's all it's it, it's like it comes to be very small a lot of women out there are suffering through domestic violence when it comes to domestic violence people think of only the physical but sometimes the psychological domestic violence is more painful than the physical because the physical people can see and say oh she has bruises oh she was hit oh she was kicked oh she was beaten but the one that is happening inside the psychological one emotionally draining that abusive that verbal uh, uh, abuse no one can understand what they are going through you can come out dress nice go outside attend functions be part of society 
engage in group activity like her she's an actress after that whole saga when she talked about you know quitting the marriage that they said oh she has bipolar we've seen her come out more you know acting more movies taking care of herself again being the cha-cha that we fall in love with with her outfit her dress code her fashion sense everything was folding up I just feel like, you know, during that transformation, when she was getting back on track, you know, realizing that this is me, this is my art, this is my field, I'm an actor. I'm not going to allow myself to be shrink in the corner. Now she has the mind, she has the courage to come out. We have all seen Osina Chi, the gospel musician that died in Nigeria due to domestic violence, allegedly, because the man is still fighting and, you know, in court that he is not responsible for his wife's death. Before they said it was cancer of the throats, later they said cancer of the lungs. I don't know how many causes they are going to lead or connect to that woman's death. But domestic violence is real. I know sometimes it's hard. You have been with someone, you have built a family, you have kids, you have that home. Everybody's looking at you. They are public figures. The Chaike is a public figure. So many followers on Instagram, on her social media, people are looking up to her. And you know all these celebrities when they want to take couples picture oh my god it's it's cute like they have the matching outfits they do you know they go extra to make that picture of what a family unit should look like so with all that pressure on sometimes i get it why some women feel as if it's too hard to just walk away from this abusive home what will people say but let me just tell you one thing here those people that you are thinking about what will they say if my marriage fail will be the same more this no the same people that will come back later if you die in the marriage they'll be like oh you should have walked away marriage is not do or die that is africans for you but if you know you are going through something that is not okay for you that is not right you know within yourself you can feel it that i am not happy i may be forcing smiles i may be appear frequently on pub you know in the public domain trying to make people feel as if Oh, she's doing fine. Everything is going fine. Her home is perfect. Her husband is good. Her kids are cute. That is not the life we should try to live. You can never please the human race, no matter how you try. You can lay flat. You can lay yourself on the ground for someone to walk upon you. Then they will say you do not lie down too flat. Like they, they can feel some gallops on your back. You can't please people. I know sometimes also it's hard people think about family when you get married everybody's fighting to break generational curses we have some homes where females don't last long in marriages this person will go and get married a few months later the marriage will break so when you eventually get married you want to say oh my god i'm going to break this family curse. i'm going to be the one to have a lasting and a good home some women engage in that some other women will use that excuses for their kids I don't want my kids to grow up in divided homes. I want my kids to grow up in a home where they can see both mom and dad until they get to a certain age. I've seen videos of, you know, domestic violence victims that their families and friends are now speaking on their behalf, using their story to encourage other women. Some women can, will be saying, oh, I'll wait for my kids to get older. At that time, they can be able to understand why I decided to walk away. But now they are young, it's going to affect them psychology. Listen. Stop making excuses. When, when a child is with you, every emotion that you pass through, they can feel it also. If you are that's always sad, mom is always sad, they will know. But mom is always moody, they will also know. So you using your kids as an excuse not to walk away from a situation that is draining you and making you feel as if you know, like you are not valued, like you are just some piece of rug someone can just toss to the side. At the end of the day, it will be on you. Because the, the caption that Chacha made today on her Instagram post, she captioned it, it's better to work out alive or dead with a little coffin emoji. Then in the comment section, someone said, it's better to be a single mother with your kids than a late missus. Look at Osinachi. She was late to rest, I think, two two days ago. She, she has been put to mother art. She has been buried. Her story, her career, her voice, everything is gone. There is nothing like, we can't, 
we can't hear her singing again like new release songs. We will only be able to listen to her old songs. Domestic violence is not an easy deal. I know it's hard to walk away. Hi. I know it's very hard to find someone to just like, okay, oh, I'm just going to get up, pack my bags, and then I'm just going to, to just move on. It is not easy. It is a very hard decision to make for, for a lot of us, especially as Africans, as females. We have been groomed when you get so when you grow older, you get married, your life, everything about your identity, your husband is your crown. You have to obey your husband, you have to love your husband, you have to do this for your husband. Your husband said this, that is what you should do. It gets so it has gotten to a point that you know we have come to normalize abuse, that it is part of marriage, it is part of life, no one is perfect. Or you just hot tempered, it will change. When a man is a gentleman, is a gentleman. When a man is a gent gentleman, you can never make someone change. You have met that man above twenty something. He already has his mindset and what he has been groomed to. It only takes the grace of God and I prayer for you to get someone you can say this is a, someone that I know. This is a man that loves God and will not hurt me. This generation is crazy. A lot of things are going on these days. Like sometimes I'm baffled. Like, like seriously, what is going on? People are changing. Things are happening. You don't know who is who these days. But above all this chaos, above all the crisis and the, the fighting going around the world, you should always remember how important you are. You're a woman. You have kids. You don't have kids. If you're in an abusive home or abusive relationship, you know your life it's at you know your, your life is on on a platter that can be chopped up at any given second please speak up or walk away we can pray that is that is as far we can go we can pray 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 but sometimes it takes more than prayer it takes you to realize that i deserve better let me pray let me get down on my knees and pray for god to elevate my husband and pray for god to bless our home not you praying all the time for God to change my husband. Before a man decides to get married, he should have made up his mind that I want to get married. These and these are the things that I'm going to be engaging myself with my family. So if you are going into a marriage, for you to start praying and raising someone else's child that is a full-grown man, you are just wasting your time. There is little that you can do. A man can only change for someone he wants to change for. You cannot force them. A woman can change her life within seconds to please her husband. But you see these men, they don't change that easily. Now that E.K. has spoken out that she's going to move on. She's ending the marriage. She's getting support, yes. But there are going to be a set of people that are also going to drag her down. Oh, your marriage failed. After, I think she has four kids now. After four kids... Oh, you are this. Oh, you are that. And listen, there's just one thing I don't like about Africans. I don't know why people like to celebrate bad news or deaths. When someone is dead, like you will see people posting them all over social media, appreciating them, doing all sort of things. But when that person was alive, that they needed that support, that love, they, no one is available. Women are scared these days to walk out of abusive homes because they are afraid of people that always condemn. People that will not see the good in anyone. Some people, their minds are make, you know, their minds are like, their minds are made up about that. They can never see good in people. People want other people to live according to their own description of life. You can be doing everything that you know is good for you. Okay, I'm living this way. This is the best way I can live my life. As long as it does not please certain people, they will see you as if you are not doing good. Forgetting that, that is not their life to control or dictate or, or you know, write the story of how you are going to live or wake up at six, go to the, uh, the bathroom by seven. Let's learn to encourage people and make them feel as if no matter what they are human beings, celebrate the little things that people do don't wait for them to be beaten like oh they'll be like oh, our husband beat her up all the time she's just faking to be happy then if she decided to walk away again oh she just lost her marriage oh she's a bad woman she's a bad mother let's stop it all the negative talk is leading most our african women these days to suicide 
women are afraid to even speak out because the society see us as if we are just you know we can take anything there was a lot of things going on around the world the best you can do if you don't know someone's story is pray for them and wish them well stop being all that negative you don't know what they are passing through you don't know what they are going through in life just just learn to just be just learn to be nice it will not hurt you it will not cost you a dime that simple for every woman going through domestic violence abuse of any kind i pray you find the strength to make a right decision that will benefit you and not anyone else choose you choose yourself my name is mariama thank you for joining me on my facebook live and if you're watching this from youtube please make sure you subscribe if you're watching from facebook please make sure you like and don't forget to share and i will see you all on my next video stay blessed and god loves you